Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. All right. We are back live. The New Life International Ministries Hour of Power Bible Study. All right. I'm the pastor overseer, Eric Bell, and we're just so excited to be back tonight um, for our Bible study. I tell you, we're just really celebrating what God is doing in 2021 in 2021. So we're just excited to be back um, again for the Our Power Bible Study, New Life International Ministries, right here in Macon, Georgia. Our address is 1985 Vineville Avenue. Hey, Sister Benjo, how are you? 1985 Vineville Avenue, right here in the city of Macon. We are in the old Scottish Rite building, uh, just up past Fountain Car Wash, across from Goodwill. Hey, come on, check us out. Let me tell you, God is just doing some great things in New Life. And I tell you, if you feel comfortable, you're looking for, you're ready to have some church, ready to get into corporate worship, come be with us. Hey, Sister Pat, how you doing? Come on, be with us, because I promise you, it's going to bless you real good. Uh, our service time starts at 1015, then we come live right here on this uh, Facebook page at 1030. But I, I welcome you to come. I'm telling you, because God is just doing some great, great things in new life. And I'm excited about it. Hey, Elder Wood, how you doing? Good to see you. So I hope and pray that you all are having a blessed week. I'm so excited. All of our New Life family coming in, family and friends. Thank you all so much. Hey, Elder Sean, thank you all so much. I tell you, again, we're just celebrating what the greatness of the Lord are doing. Hey, Pastor Purcell, how are you? Good to see you on with us tonight. Uh, doing some great things in New Life. I tell you, he's doing, I'm excited. Even in, in the midst of everything that's going on, I still see the hand of God. Uh, with the turmoil that's happening here in the uh, United States, I still see the hand of God. So I'm telling you, we, we just got to stay focused. We got to stay focused and not allow these things to distract us and get us out of position because the Bible spoke about these things are supposed to be. So we understand in the last day will be perilous times. I understand the word perilous, what it means. Uh, so, you know, we're starting to live out the biblical prophecies. Um, that was spoken back in the Old Testament. So, so again, we we are actually living these things out. So again, listen, I'm I'm just excited. I'm bubbling about this word tonight because uh, God has given a word again in my time of meditation, and it's gonna bless you. Hey, Intercessor Markella, how are you? Good to see you. Um, so, man, I'm telling you, is 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 this a great time? Uh, in the body of Christ. It's a great thing. You know, we've been talking about, uh, hey, Sister Shonda, how you doing? We've been talking about all last year, really, we were talking about revival, and it's carried over. It's still happening. Uh, but we're at a different point in the revival, a different phase of the revival. If you understand how revival works in the Bible, uh, whenever there's a mass outpouring, hey, Sister Pam, it, it was in stages. It was in stages. And you, you got to understand what phase uh, we're in. And what stage you're in, I tell you. Uh, Elder Pat, how you doing? Where's Deke? Tell Deke to get on here. <laughs> tell Deke to say hello. Uh, but again, I thank God for each of you all that are coming on. We're about two more minutes, and we're going to get into our lesson. Hey, those of you all that are on right now, do me a favor. Those of you all that are on, go ahead and start your watch parties. Um, uh, tag some family and friends. Let's get them in here because I'm telling you, there's another word that's going to bless you real good. I promise you it's going to bless you real good. So go ahead and uh, start your watch parties now. Uh, tag your family and friends, co-workers, neighbors. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and let's get them in. Let's get our numbers up because I promise you again, um, there is another word from the Lord that's going to bless you real good. Uh, so again, I want to uh, uh, is just praise the Lord for what he's doing. Come on back. Come be with us this, uh, in our corporate worship. Of course, yes, we're observing the social distancing and uh, the scans and all that kind of good stuff, mandatory masks. Uh, but I'm telling you, uh, there's something that awesome is something in the presence of the Lord uh, that's happening in, at New Life. Hey, Sister Dorothy, how are you doing? Deke says, good evening. All right, Deke. All right, good to have you on tonight. Hey, cuz, Natalie, how you doing? So good to see you tonight. Hey, again, let's go ahead and start our watch parties. Um, let's tag some friends, family. Let's get them in because I'm telling you, there's another word that's going to bless you real good uh, because God is just, he's just doing some amazing things. Um, he's in, 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 And I'm excited. So we're just trying to be in position that we can get the fullness of this thing because it's very interesting 
uh, what he's doing at this appointed time. All right, so we're going to uh, get ready to go into our word tonight. Sister Barbara, oh, look at that old new life member. Man, that's a blessing. Good to see you, Barbara Jackson. All right. Wow. Amen. That's that's good. That that is that is awesome. Um, Sister Myra's on. Thank you. Good to see you. Good evening. Good evening to you. So hey, let's get into lesson seven oh five. As you all know, you know it's like um, our Bible lessons are. are are you, you you all hear me say this in my open like dot to dot uh, is connecting different things is connecting together and I'm so amazed because when I end Bible study I'm like okay God where are you gonna go next where, where are you taking us you know what's the next part of this and 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 it's amazing how He unveils this thing and how it um how it's it's connecting together so it, you it, it, it's like a map we're we're walking out literally. God's map. It's like we are walking out and working out God's map. I know a lot of times we don't understand, uh, and I get that, but understand this, that we are walking out God's map. So the, the uh, Bible says that the lessons that he's, he's giving, and those of you ought to know, I love to meditate. I like to pray and meditate and just hear his voice. And the things that he's unveiling to me is just very interesting for this appointed time. Now, we are in the body of Christ as a whole. We are in revival. We are in revival. You can't allow the distractions of, 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 of what's going on with the government, politics, and all of that. You cannot allow that stuff to distract you. We are in revival. The, the, the Lord has poured out his spirit in a mighty way. It is pouring on his spirit. And so he's taken us. The thing is, we're going in a, into different dimensions. We're no longer operating in levels. We're operating in dimensions now, what he's doing. He's, uh, and, he, and, he, and as we're operating in dimensions, you all heard me say, uh, he gave a word that he's catapulting us. We are in forward progression. We are in mad, fast motion. Things are happening fast so fast that our our natural man is trying to catch up. You know, the spirit man is like, hey, 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 it, it's moving. And our natural man is, is trying to catch up. It's going to be almost virtually impossible. This is why you got to stay sensitive to the spirit. You got to stay sensitive because God is progressing. He's moving us very fast. Things are happening fast. This is why now you can't, don't get out of position with the Lord. I'm telling you, do not get out of because God is moving very fast. Uh, we're being catapulted into who he wants us to be. We're being catapulted. So last week, you know, we talked about the week before we, we dealt with identity on um, coming into the understanding of who you are, understanding who you are, not what you've become. Again, a lot of times we make the mistake to think that what we've become is who we are. No, 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 no. The devil is a liar. So, so we talked about that. As, as he's progressing us, as we are uh, in, in forward motion, as he's catapulting us, it is imperative. Uh, and we're in 2021 for new life and everyone connected to us. It's the year, the year, not a season, the year of recovery. The 365 days, 12 months, the year, 53 weeks, the year of recovery. So that means that, that, that uh, 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 it's happening. Every second, something is happening. So you got to understand that. So as we're doing this, as we're in this in this particular uh, move of God, uh, he's 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 he keeps saying uh, identity, understanding who you really are, and not what you've become, not what the world has labeled you as. So this is important. Then then last week he he unveiled it some more. He told us about our heritage. In understanding what, uh, as we are coming into our identity, how it unlocks our heritage. And then understanding who we are, what we have, our birthright in the kingdom. What God has said that is yours, but you can't get it until you walk, until you come into the identity, coming into the understanding of who you are. I can't give your heritage to, uh, uh, to someone else. Uh, so you got to have, you, you got to, as we are coming into the understanding of our identity. So now, as we're, we, we talked about heritage and unlocking, he said this, he gave this to me. I said, oh God, are you serious? So watch this, y'all. 
So as we're coming into our identity, it is unlocking our heritage, our kingdom heritage, what God has in store for us, what has been locked up in the realm of the spirit, but it's being unlocked. He said this, as you are understanding and coming into the knowledge of your heritage, here's the word, here it is. He said, you are impactful. He said, understand the impact, oh God, understand the impact that's, that is attached to your heritage. And this is what we're going to talk about tonight, man. When he told me that he began to unveil some things, I said, oh God, he said, yes, understand that the impact, watch this, the impact that you, that you have uh, or your heritage contains the impact and you are impactful. I need somebody to, to go ahead and type that in for me right now. I am impactful. Yeah, yeah, I am impactful. You are impactful. And, and, and uh, so as we are walking in and our heritage is unveiling itself to us, understand the impact that you have. Understand the impact that is on you. And you got to get that because that is so important. That is so important. Yes, you are impactful. You need to type that in because you got to understand the devil knows how impactful you are and what he's trying to do is counter it so that you will not come into the understanding of the impact that you really have. Oh yes, yes, he doesn't want you to understand, to know that. So all his devices and stuff that he's using, but, but understand this, the Lord said, God said, as we are being catapulted, we are in revival and we're coming and understanding the identity of who we really are according to who he has said we are in that we're starting to walk in our heritage. And as we're walking, he said, you are impactful. You got to understand the impact that has been uh, uh, released to you. Are you hearing me? Understanding the impact. How impactful you are. He said this, impactful from two perspectives. Uh, uh, impactful from an adjective describing you and impactful for who you are. God Almighty, are you hearing me? So there are two parts of that. He said, I'm going to describe you and I'm going to tell you who you are. So there's a twofold thing going on right now. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing. He said, I'm describing you. You are impactful and I'm telling you who you are. I'm making a statement. You're impactful. God Almighty, you're impactful and you're impactful. And God, here's the thing. Oh God, thank you. He just gave me this. Watch this. He said, I'm stamping you. Mm -hmm. I'm stamping you with my approval. Are you hearing me? Somebody need to catch that. Somebody need to catch that. Oh God. Uh, he, he said, I'm stamping you. I am affirming and confirming you. I'm, a, I'm stamping you as you are coming into your identity, as you're coming into who you really are in God. As you're starting, the, the heritage is starting to be unlocked in the realm of the spirit. It is starting to flow on you. He said, I, affirm, I am stamping you. Many of you don't know right now, you are being stamped by God. Oh God, are you hearing me? Uh, you are impactful and you are impactful. I'm describing you as an adjective and I am saying who you are as a noun. You are impactful. So now let's look at this. Let's look at the definition because we got to get this. You all know I love to teach. Uh, watch this. Here's the definition. Definition. Impactful. And you notice the root word is impact. Watch this. Here it is. Having a significant or powerful effect. <laughs> Having a significant or powerful effect. So as, as you are coming into your identity, as God is catapulting us and we're moving fast, we're in forward, fast progression, and you're coming into the knowledge of who you are, and as you're coming into the knowledge of who you are, the, is what's been locked up is being unlocked in your heritage, your birthright, what God has been storing up for you. It's starting to it's starting to 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 drop down or manifest on you. You're starting to walk in it, and as you're walking in it, he said this: there is a significant, powerful effect that is on your life. 
<laughs> see, some of y'all think you, and see how he's trying to mess with it. He's trying to get you to think that you're not worthy, that you're not. But the Lord said, the Lord said, watch this, that you have, you're, you have a significant and powerful effect. Mm. Effect means that you change stuff around God. Oh my, what am I mean? Some of y'all don't understand the, 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 the magnitude, the, the greatness of how you can shift anointings. You can shift atmospheres and you don't understand that because watch this. You've always been uh, affected by the atmosphere, but God say now you will affect the atmosphere. God, did you hear that? Did y'all catch that? We're so accustomed to being affected by the atmosphere that now God said, you're going to affect the atmosphere. <laughs> oh, uh, where are my atmosphere shifters? Where are my atmosphere effectors? Uh, that's who I'm talking to. This is beyond church. Are you hearing me? Again, we're so accustomed to be affected by the atmosphere. But God say, as we, he's catapulting us and we're coming into our identity and our heritage, he said, you will affect the atmosphere instead of the, the atmosphere affecting you. Oh God, are oh, you hearing me? Oh, Y'all better get this. Y'all better get this. Uh, you are an atmosphere effector, impactful. Having a significant or powerful effect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now let's go to these revelatory names because I, I'm, it, it, this just got me real good. Uh, here we are. Here we are. Y'all know I like, to, I like to meditate and get a uh, rhema before I go into Logos. Watch this. The Lord said this as we're talking about your uh, impactful and impact that you're having, having a significant or powerful effect. Hear this. He said, it is vital to unveil your heritage because it comes with a great impact. Let me say that again. He said, it is vital that we, that you uh, that to unveil your heritage is it's, it's vital. We talked about heritage last week. He said it is it is of the utmost importance to unveil your heritage because unveiling your heritage comes with a great impact. Uh huh. We, okay, let me show you what I mean. Um, the uh, moss uh, the the the. the the founder of, of, of Facebook. Let's look at this. As he walked into the unveiling of his heritage, it came with a great impact. Watch this. He has now impact not just his family, impact the world. Now I want you to look, catch this. Facebook is not old. Rapid. We're moving fast. Facebook, when you really think about it, step back and really think about this. Facebook is not old. Matter of fact, I'm older than Facebook. Many of you on here are older than Facebook. But watch this. But because of the impact that it has, it has taken over the world. God Almighty. And as he's, uh, and so as he's, Going into, he, this is what happens when he learns his identity. This is what happened when he learned his identity. His heritage began to unlock. And as his heritage began to unlock, he impacted the world at a rapid pace. Some of you all don't understand. It is vital that your heritage is unveiled because it comes with great impact. Mm-hmm. Impact. You are an impactor. You are impactful. You are, in, are an impactor. I say it again. We're so accustomed to atmospheres affecting us. But as we walk into this thing now, in this revival, understanding the authority, you will now affect the atmosphere. So whereas we have been subjected to the atmosphere, the atmosphere now will become subjected to us. Are you hearing? Are you hearing me? 
That's the impact that you that you are, 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 are that is on you. Are you hearing me? So here's another revelatory nigga that's gonna bless you real good. Well, oh God, he said, uncommon impact in common places. <laughs> Get ready, God Almighty, for uncommon impact in common places. What do I mean? Uh, even right there on your job, you you know, it's become common. You know, you go to work Monday through Friday. Some of y'all work nine to five, whatever your, your shifts are, but it's, it's, it's common to you. But he said this, even in your common places, you're going to have uncommon impact. <laughs> Favor has found you. God Almighty. Oh, man. Man, you. <laughs> oh, I feel it. Favor has found you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, and, it, and watch this. And it was there. It was looking for you. It was looking for you. It was looking for you. But now that we're coming into our identity and our heritage is unlocking, favor is finding you. God Almighty. God Almighty. It's happening right now. Some of you all are in common places. Here it is. There is you have an uncommon impact. And God, oh God, watch this. He said, I'm not taking you out of it. See, it's one thing, you know, the, the Bible says that a prophet is not honoring his own land. Let me show you something. The Lord said, let me show you the uncommon impact in common places. I'm going to cause those folks that see you as common to bless you. God, are you hearing me? Some people can only see you as such and such and who you were and what you were and what you did and all that kind of stuff. He said, mm, I'm not going to move you away from them. He said, I'm going to cause them to bless you. Uh huh. Because you have uncommon impact in common places. Are you hearing me tonight? Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me tonight? Favor has found you. Are you hearing me? Favor has found you. God Almighty. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It has found you. Uncommon impact. Uncommon effect. Remember, impact means having a significant or powerful effect. He said this, you have uncommon, significant, and powerful effect in common places. Why do you think people all are coming to you now? You got problems, but people are coming to you with their problems. Why? Because you have uncommon impact in common places. No one would have ever thought that you of all people would be where you are. <laughs> no one would have ever thought, mm, God said, I blindsided them. <laughs> oh, you are uh, somebody finna walk into a, watch this. We're about to walk into a blindsided, a blindsided stage. What do I mean? That people that don't even see you on a radar, you're not even on nobody's radar. You're not even on anyone's radar. You're going to blindside. Like, where did the word that you see? Yeah, you're blind. So that's why, let me tell you how, there are so many people biblically that was blindsided. Let me give you an example. One minute, David was out there in the field. The next minute, he got blindsided. He was sitting in the kingdom. Y'all missed that. One minute, David was out there in the field. He got blindsided by the blessings of the Lord. The next minute, he was being summoned by the prophet to be anointed king. See, that's why you listen. You don't, don't, don't you mess up because you see somebody in the field right now because God said you get ready to be some folk about to be blindsided and you could be in the field right now and then be summoned by the prophet to be anointed king. I'm talking to somebody tonight. I'm talking about impactful. Let me tell you what I mean. Joseph was in prison. One day he was in prison. He woke up in prison. And by the time Joseph went to bed, he was sitting in the palace. Oh, God, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? I feel the anointing. Are you hearing me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He woke up in prison. He went to bed in the palace. God Almighty, are you, are you hearing me? He woke up in prison. He went to bed in the palace. Are you hearing me? That's the uncommon impact. In common places. This is where we are, people of God. Get ready to be blindsided. Get, it seemed like it's been taking a long time. God said, mm -mm. it wasn't taking a long time. It's just that, watch this, you didn't know who you are. So I couldn't give it to you. I couldn't release it to you. I know many of us, I've gotten frustrated. Many people I've talked to have gotten frustrated. I get it. 
But now as we are coming into the knowledge of our identity and walking into our heritage, what's been released and pronounced on us by God, now we are saying, we are seeing, and, and you're going to see how impactful you are. Are you hearing me? Watch this. Now, he did, he did caution. He sent a word of caution. Here it is, and that leads us to our next revelatory negative. Use wisdom. <laughs> Why? He said because everybody isn't ready for the impact that's on you. Everybody isn't ready for the impact for you. <laughs> he said use wisdom. Everybody isn't ready for the impact for you. They still see you as the old you. They ain't ready for it. They can't handle the impact for you. So God said, tell them, use wisdom. Because everybody isn't ready for the impact for you. You got to use wisdom now. Mm -hmm. You got to use wisdom. You got to use wisdom. Because everybody ain't ready. They're not ready for the impact for you. Yeah. Yeah, there you see, and I get that. There are some people that just see, they see Bell, they see Eric Bell, and but they ain't ready for the impact for you. I'm trying to help you tonight. As we're coming into our identity, as God is catapulting us, and we're understanding them to we're beginning to walk in our heritage, and he's saying, oh, in that you're impactful. So he said this use wisdom, use wisdom, people of God. Use wisdom. He said, because everybody. They are not ready for the impact for you. They ain't ready for it. Mm -mm. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. So he said, he said that to tell them, use wisdom. Some people, oh God, he just gave this to me. I don't care what you do. They're not going to shift and change. And you've got to understand when to say, you know what? Because you can't cast, one of the problems in that we've had in the past is we've been casting our pearls to swine. Oh God, and I, I, some of y'all, just, I, just, I just saw, I, oh God, uh, casting our pearls to swine. People that didn't appreciate you, people that didn't honor you, they, none of that. He said, no, 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 no. He said, that's why you got to use wisdom. He said, this is why you got to use wisdom. Because everybody isn't ready for the impact for you. They're not ready for it. They're not ready for it. Sometimes you can, oh God, walk in impact. When you get around certain people, you got to learn to be quiet. Because some people are so envious and jealous of you. So you got to learn, watch this, just because you don't say nothing doesn't minimize who you are. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you tonight. Are you hearing me? I'm talking to you. Because everybody, they ain't ready. For the impact for you. Which leads us to our next nugget. Some don't understand being an impact. They only understand being impacted. <laughs> Some people, God said, they don't understand how to be the impact. They only understand being impacted. <laughs> oh, let me say it again. The Lord said, some people don't understand being the impact, the noun. They only understand being impacted. So guess what? You're going to have some folks, watch this. The only thing that they're going to understand is being impacted. You're going to kill yourself trying to explain because watch this. They don't understand impact. They only understand being impacted. Oh, God, I'm talking to you. That's why now I pray. I said, Lord, as I was in my mouth, I said, God, surround me. Everybody that's around me right now, let them understand impact. And not just, watch this, the, product, the production or the product of being impacted. I said, God, let everything around me understand impact. Let us walk. In this, in this impact because, watch this, we have to be on one accord. Oh God, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, you can't. It. It. Cause what's going to happen? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Two things. If you are an impact, and the and the person or or what's around you only understands being impacted, you're going to talk two different languages, and both of you're going to be frustrated. You're walking in the place of impact. They're walking in the place of only understanding being impacted. So the two are on two different frequency levels. So what's going to happen is going to cause uh, uh, friction and frustration because like, man, what? you don't understand what I'm saying? Well, you don't understand what I'm saying. Well, you don't understand what I'm saying. Because one is from a position of understanding being impact and the other is the impactor. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? So here it is. Here's our next revelatory naked. Uh oh. Now this is another caution. He said this. Don't lose yourself being impactful. Because it draws attention. Caution. He said don't lose yourself. Being impactful. Because it draws. Attention. So what do I mean? You're impacting. You're flowing. And it draws attention. And you. Watch this. You lose focus of being the impactor. And start focusing on the attention of being an, uh, being an impactor that it draws. He said, be careful with that. Many have fallen. Many have fallen, says the Lord, because they lost themselves in being impactful. And the attention that it comes with it, some people can't handle it. They're losing he said, he told me to tell you, don't lose yourself being impactful because it draws attention, especially for my, watch this. This is why I've got to be careful. All of your life, you've always been the least. And now you are the top. And you've never had that type of attention before. And it will drive you crazy. You will lose yourself because now where you've been so accustomed of operating in the bottom, and now God is, is moving you to the top, and he said you got to be careful because it draws attention. Be like, man, wow. And the next thing you know, you will lose yourself because you got, you'll get caught up in the attention that is drawing because of your impact. Are you hearing me? So you got to be careful. People that's been drugged and hurt in the least, you've got to be very careful. People that never really had attention before, you was always looked over. You were the, you were the least in growing up. You even with your siblings, even in your school, you were always looked over. You know, you didn't look like everybody else. You didn't act like everybody else. You you were the the the, uh, 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 the, the, the just just alienated. They never picked you and all those things. You were overlooked. You, you didn't get a chance to do with, as you saw the other kids do. I'm talking to you. He said this. As you are being impactful and you've never had this type of attention, all of a sudden, now you're getting the attention that you're, oh God, now you're getting the attention that you wanted as a little child. <laughs> See, some of us are adults, but we're still in the, uh, we're on the outside, but inside we're still stuck at the place where we've been hurt, stuck at the place where we've been uh, alienated and isolated and uh, and forgotten about and overlooked, we're still stuck there. So now, watch this. Uh, 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 this impact, being impactful, will give you attention. And if you ain't careful, you will lose yourself. God says, caution. Be careful. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. He said, be careful. All right? Now, here's another one. Got two more negatives, then we're going to go into Logos. Don't be impactful, but inadequate. <laughs> Are you hearing me? He said, don't be so busy being impactful, 
that you are inadequate. What does that mean? You have the ability, but no productivity. <laughs> oh God, are you hearing me? He said this, tell my people, don't be impactful, but inadequate. You have the ability, but no productivity. You ain't producing nothing. Are you hearing me? He says, so you are impactful, but don't be impactful, but inadequate. You have the ability, but no productivity. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, final nugget before we go into the word. Oh, God, this is going to hit you right here. This is going to get you good. I, oh, God, I feel that anointing. Here it is. Being impactful must first impact you. You can impact somebody else and you haven't been impacted first. Being impactful must first impact you. You must be affected first before you can impact others. You must be affected. Because remember, impact means having a significant or powerful effect. You must have the significant and powerful effect before you can impact others. Don't jump out there too quick. Oh, God. Oh, he just dropped that on me. He just gave me one. Let me caution you. He said, listen, don't jump out there too quick because you got to get the fullness of being impacted or else you will be continuing. Watch this. You will be continuing pulling out and nothing coming in. And next thing you know, you'll be depleted very fast. Are you hearing me? He said, tell them, don't move too quick. Uh-huh. As you're walking in this, don't jump out there too quick and get crazy. He said this, it must first impact you before you can impact others. <laughs> you must be coming first. That's why I tell you, I got so many right now, they don't even understand what's going on. As they're coming into the knowledge of their ministry. Here it is. Before you can preach your ministry, you have to become your ministry. Mm -hmm. What do I mean? If you have a healing ministry, you're going to be sick first. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you can release your ministry, you must become your ministry first. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? And this is important. This is important. You must become, you talk about God as a miracle worker. He, you know, first, he going to make you the miracle. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Uh, I know we don't want to hear that. I know we don't want to hear that. But I got to tell you, this is my apostolic assignment. I got to tell you. Yes. You, whatever your ministry is, it's going to hit you first. Uh-huh. And a lot of times when it hits us, we think something wrong. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm just, you know, and we start making crazy decisions and doing all kind of crazy stuff and all that kind of stuff. Mm -mm. First, watch this. I need you to hear me. Before you can release your ministry, you must become your ministry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Mm-hmm. So now let's go into our word. Let's go into Logos. Let's go into Logos uh, because I got to get to, I got to show it to you in the scripture. We're talking about, we're talking about impact, 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 being impactful. You are impact. You are impactful. You are impact. We're talking about impact. Are you hearing me? So let's go. Genesis, uh, I mean, the ESV, Genesis chapter 30. Now, this is good. <laughs> Verses 27 through 30. But Laban said to him, if I have found favor in your sight, I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Name your... Wait a minute. Oh, woo. <laughs> look at the impact here. Look at, the, look at the significant, powerful effect. Read that again, because I need for you all to get this. Read that again. But Laban said to him... But Laban said to him... If I have found favor in your sight. If I have found favor in your sight. I have learned by divination. I have learned by divination. He thought about divination. Read. That the Lord has blessed me. What? That the Lord has blessed me. Because of you. Because of your impact. He, listen. Listen at this. He said, I learned by divination. 
Even the devil knows. <laughs> Even the devil knows your impact. <laughs> it's something, uh-huh, when, when the satanic kingdom acknowledges you. Let me tell you what I mean. You remember over there in, in Acts, there's a, there's a, it talks about the seven sons of Sceva. There was a priest that went into, there was a, a young man that was possessed with uh, with some demonic forces, some evil spirits, and uh, uh, and so this young man, you know this this you know he he uh, you know he had watched others operate. That's why you got to be try to be careful trying to mimic somebody else. Be yourself. I just said something then. You got to be careful trying to mimic someone else. You don't know what someone else had to go through. You don't know what they're going through now. Be yourself. So he tried to you know mimic Paul and. And, and, and all of them. And, and so he went and tried to tackle this, this um, man uh, possessed with demons. All of them. They tried to go in there. And the Bible says, <laughs> the demons spoke. Let me show you how, to, how satanic, satanic kingdom know you. Notice what it said. Paul I know. Jesus I know. But who are you? <laughs> and the Bible said, beat that joker down. Are you hearing me? So the set and, and so you gotta understand that even the satanic kingdom, they're aware you are, they are aware of you. See, this is what you gotta get. They don't want you to know that they're aware of you, but the satanic kingdom is aware of your presence. He said this, Laban said, because of you. I've been blessed. Look at the impact. God. See, you got to get this. Laban recognized. It wasn't nothing that he was doing. It was because of him that he was. Finish reading that. Finish reading. Watch this. Name your wages and I will give it to you. He said, name your wages and I'll give it to you. Jacob said to him. Jake, look at that. Jacob, Jacob. He told Jacob. Laban told Jacob. Listen, I recognize that I'm blessed because of your impact, your, your, your effectiveness, your powerful effect. My land is blessed because of the powerful effect of you. Because you are impactful, Jacob, I recognize that. Name your price. Name your whatever. It's something, God Almighty. Some of y'all, I need for y'all to get the weight of this impact that's on you. Listen what Laban said. Name your salary, God Almighty. You're going to go into jobs instead of them telling you what they're going to pay you. Watch this. They're going to ask you, what do you, what, 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 what's your, what, what do you want? Oh, God, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? They're going to have. $50,000 a year on the job description, but you going to go in there and impact going to be sitting right there and they're going to recognize, they're going to say, how much money do you want? <laughs> oh God, some of y'all better catch that. You better catch that. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, you better catch that. So, so Laban as Jacob, I know what I normally pay you, but you tell me what it'll take to keep you here. That's the impact, oh God, that Jacob had on his life. Read. You yourself know how I have served you and how your livestock has fared with me. For you had little before I came. Listen at this. You didn't have nothing before I came. You had little. You, Jacob is telling him, look, Laban, you had little before I showed up. Read. And it has increased abundantly. And it has increased abundantly, Laban, because of my impact. You had little until I showed up, Laban, even though you my uncle. <laughs> but it was until my impact came into your house that everything began to flourish. God Almighty. See, I'm talking to some impactful people. I'm talking to people that that's, that their their heritage, they're starting to understand this unlocking and the impact. God Almighty, read. And it in, has increased abundantly. He said it has. In, Jacob is telling Laban it has increased abundantly. 
And the Lord has blessed you wherever I turn. And the Lord has blessed you wherever I turn. Oh, God. I'm talking to some impactful people. Listen what Jacob told him. And the Lord blessed you wherever I went. So when, wherever I went, the Lord sent a blessing to you. You were blessed by my presence. <laughs> there are some people don't understand that they were blessed by your presence. Are you hearing me? They have increased because of your presence. Uh -huh. Their jobs have exploded because you were an employee. Are you hearing me? Things have been chaotic before you showed up in that office. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. I'm, oh, God, I'm trying to help someone. I'm trying to help somebody tonight. Did we finish that? But now when shall I provide for my own household also? Mm, did we finish that? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to stay in that vein. We're going to stay in that vein. Let's go. First Samuel chapter 16 verses 1 through 5. Let's stay in that vein because you got to understand the impact. You got to understand the impact. That's why he said you cannot lose yourself. You see this? You see this? Attention. You cannot lose yourself and get arrogant, get cocky. Can't nobody tell you nothing. You won't hear no. You won't hear nobody no more. You you you, you just shutting down. No no no. You can't do that. Uh huh. Now what if what if uh 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 you know Jacob had gotten like that? Laban, you know I I, I ain't hearing nothing. I uh, Laban, uh, you know you gotta get this. So let's go to First uh, Samuel chapter sixteen verses one through five. Let's stay in that vein. Read. The Lord said to Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel. How long will you grieve over Saul? How long will you grieve over Saul? Since I have rejected him. Since I have rejected him. From being king over Israel. From being king over Israel. Fill your horn with oil. Fill your horn with oil. And go. And go. Look at the impact. Read. I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite. I'm going to send you to Jesse's house. For I have provided for myself a king uh -huh. among his sons. For I have provided for myself a king among his sons. Watch this. I want y'all to get this. You are so impactful, Samuel, that God poured you to send you to impact the next king. But the Lord, but the Lord, but the Lord, but the Lord, God has chosen you, mm, God, to anoint the next king. You are so impactful, Samuel, that I'm pulling you, you over there, you grieving. You grieving because of what I rejected. You are grieving, uh, uh, Samuel, because I rejected Saul. You grieving. Little do you know now, <laughs> You're so impactful. I'm trying to use you to go on a whole nother plane and, and select the next, my king. See, Saul was their king. David was God's king. <laughs> there is a difference. Saul was the people's king. David was God's king. God told Samuel, you're so impactful. I'm sending you to go and anoint, impact my king. God, you're still tripping over their king. And I'm trying to send you to my king. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. Are y'all hearing me? Come on, finish reading. And Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord and invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what you shall do. And you shall anoint for me whom I declare to you. Samuel did what the Lord commanded and, became, and came to Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. The elders of the city came to meet him trembling and said, do you come peaceably? Look, now look at that impact. See, people always want to run the prophets. <laughs> Look at him. He was so impactful. He was just walking in the city and the elders got work. They saw him from a distance saying, oh, oh, ain't that, ain't that Samuel? Oh, alert the elders. Samuel coming, the prophet. Oh, and they ran to him and said, hey, hey, Samuel, because we know when you show up, something about to happen. So Samuel, are you coming in peace? 
Look at that type of impact. Look at the impact. He was so impactful that they saw it. They recognized him from afar. Impactful people will be recognized from afar. <laughs> You'll be recognized. Isn't that? Oh, yeah. They may watch this. That's why you can't trip because people try to, you know, you get around, they try to act funny. They're acting funny because they recognize who you are. <laughs> are you hearing me? Read. And he said, peaceably, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. Now jump down, stay there, jump down to verse 23. And whenever the harmful spirit from God was upon Saul. Listen at the impact that was on David. I want y'all to get this. I, listen, I need for you all to understand the magnitude of what we're talking about tonight. When an evil spirit was on Saul, read. David took the lyre and. The, go ahead. And played it with his hand. David took the harp. In, in other words, he, uh, God, mm, God, when I impact you, I'm going to impact you, impact your gift. Your gift is the thing that's going to be impactful. So whatever your gift is, that's the thing that's going to be impact, the impactor and impactful. Are you hearing me? Some of y'all don't understand what's going on right now. Your gift is going through the transformation of being impactful. You've been so accustomed to being impacted, but your gift now is being reformed so that it can be impactful. Are you hearing me? So, 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 so David was used to, uh, 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 God had taken that gift that David had learned from out there in the field. See, you learn your gift. You came into a, the awareness of your gift out in the field. What do I mean? Some of y'all used to do this and, and you, you uh, uh, used to be running the streets and all that. And, and all, all the people would always come to you when it was time to fight and all that kind of good stuff. And you were the main person. So you learn, you learn, you came into a level of knowledge of your gift when you were in the street. When you came into the church, when you accepted the Lord as your savior, he's taking that same gift and he's making it impactful for its original intent. That goes back to your identity, not what you become, who God say you are. You were gifted before you started coming to church. <laughs> your gift didn't just start when you walked in the church. <laughs> so David he said, you know, now God is taking that, you know, he's been anointed. He's been anointed by Samuel now. He's been anointed by Samuel. He went back out and he was summoned. Mm, let me, oh God, you have an impact. You're walking, being impactful. Don't jump out there yourself. Let somebody summon you. <laughs> because the worst thing that you can do is try to create your own platform. And a lot of people are, are, are killing themselves because they're trying to create their own platform instead of letting the platform call you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. So now you're losing it because you're trying to create your own platform. Let the platform call you. So guess what? The platform calling David now. He didn't have to create his own platform. What happened? Read. So Saul was refreshed and was well and the harmful spirit departed from him. Look at that impact. He was summoned. The platform called him. The platform called for him at the right time. The platform called for him at the right time. The platform called for him at the right time. And when it was his time, hear me, when it was his time, the platform called requested his anointing, his impact. And when he stepped right into it, it wasn't a struggle because all they had to do was play his heart. And the Bible says because of his impact, the, the, the evil spirit that was tormenting Saul went away. But if he had done it outside of his plan, if he had done it out of the order, if he had done it the wrong way, then guess what? Nothing would happen. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Did we finish that? Mm -hmm. Let's go to 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 1, 7. Verses 1 and verse 7. After many days, the word of the Lord came to Elijah. After many days, the word of the Lord came to Elijah. Now catch this now. I want y'all to hear this. I'm sure we're talking about, remember, having a significant or powerful effect. You are impactful having a significant or powerful effect. Read. In the third year, saying, go show yourself to Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. Ooh, look at this. So look at the impact. If <laughs> Watch this, y'all. Man, I'm about to run out of here. Let me show you how impactful you are. You showing up going to shift the atmosphere. He said this. Prophet Elijah, go to Ahab. And when you get to Ahab, I'm going to send the rain. See, the problem is you're trying to uh, uh, um, talk it. Just show up. And when you show up, you're going to shift the atmosphere. God told Elijah, go, just go to Ahab. And when you do, I'm going to send the rain. So your impact will cause the atmosphere to shift. Because remember, they were in a famine. They were in a severe famine. No rain, nothing. Everybody cried. The, the animals were dying and vegetation was drying up and it seemed like it was just... He said, your impact, you just go. Follow the directions. Uh-oh, that's something right there. Follow the directions. Somebody don't want to follow direction. Are you hearing me? He said, just flow. He said, follow the Go to Ahab. And when you get there, I'm going to send the rain. That's the impact you got on your life. Read Verse 7. Yes. As Ob and as Obadiah was on the way, behold, Elijah met him. And Obadiah recognized him and fell on his face and said, <laughs> Is it you, my lord Elijah? <laughs> Listen, that, that goes back to that impact again, just like they did Samuel. Woo, they recognized him from afar. Obadiah, I jumped down in that, that same uh, chapter. Obadiah, he saw Elijah coming, he said, and he fell down. Look at the impact. The impact. You ain't gotta say you ain't gotta say nothing. He fell down and said, Is this you, Lord? <laughs> then we finish that. Mm -hmm. Jump stay in that same uh same chapter. Jump down to verses 37 through 39. Read that. Why well, I want you to catch this. Answer me, O Lord, answer me that this people may know that you, O Lord, are God, and that you have turned their hearts back. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. You see that? His impact. Having significant or powerful effect. It was him alone. And he impact the whole nation. This is the type of heritage that you have. This is what you're, who you are, your identity. This is why God is moving so fast because guess what? Oh God, he just dropped this on me. Oh God, watch this. The world needs us. Us impactors in everything that's going on. The world needs us. The world needs our anointing. The world needs our gifting. See, see, this is how the stage is being set. See, uh, the stage is being set. I, I've been saying this all 2020 for miracle signs and wonders. Um, people now, they're looking for something greater. And the stage is being set for your anointing, for your impactfulness. So that, watch this, people are going to see you lay hands. Oh, God. And the blind is going to see. People are going to see you oh, catch devils out. People are going to see you heal the sick. And they're going to understand it's got to be God. And you're going to do it in the name of the Lord. You're not going to do it in your own name. It's going to be all reverence to God. Are you hearing me? Did we finish that? Mm -hmm. uh, jump over to chapter 19. Because I already said I'm not going to finish this. Now, here's the danger. This is what you got to be careful. You got to be careful of this. 
because you are impactful. You got to be careful of this. Verses 1 and 2 read. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. Mm -hmm. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, So may the gods do to me and more also if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. You are going to be attacked by a Jezebelic spirit. It has nothing to do with gender. See, Jezebel was a female, but the spirit has no gender. It was just using her. So it has nothing to do with Jez uh, 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 gender. It has nothing to do with gender. It could be male, female. It doesn't matter. But here it is. Jezebel, if you ain't ready, if you ain't girded yourself up, you need to go and start fasting to gird your spirit up. Because understand that walking in this, walking in this, walking in this, we're talking about heritage and identity. It ain't just going to just unfold. No, no, no. He said, you got to gird yourself up, fasting, praying, meditating, because your spirit has to be girded up because there will come an attack. Jezebel told, sent word to him. You know what? By this time, what you did to them, I'm going to do to you. In other words, she's going to try to get revenge. Well, praise the Lord. Listen, I hope that this word blessed you tonight. The time now is eight. Uh, I, you know, I really do appreciate y'all tuning in. I hope and pray that you um, that you got something out of this lesson that it blessed you. Uh, it is my endeavor to, to always stay, to hear God so that I can uh, be his instrument to release a word to you that's going to change and impact your life. So I hope and pray that this word blessed you tonight. Um, um, and if it did, listen, drop a seed, drop a seed. I always encourage people. We're in 2021. This is our year of recovery. I ain't saying the Lord gave me this word recovery for the nation. No, he gave it for new life. He said for new life, international ministry and everyone that's connected to us, either you're a member or you, you covenant with us, or you, you supported, you seed into us. He said, you're a part of this. You're a part of this umbrella that this year would be the year of recovery for us, for this ministry. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited about it. So, hey, listen, uh, if this word blessed you tonight, so see, you'll see it on the cash app. You'll see all the electronic giving, give the fine, all of that. Also, I put the rest of the scriptures up there on the screen so you all can read the remainder of those scriptures. Y'all can read the remainder of those scriptures uh, um, in your time because I promise you they're going to bless you. Hey, come be with us this Sunday at 1015. I'm telling you, it's going to bless you. It's going to bless you real good. Anyone on here that's not saved and you want to be saved after hearing this word, and, you know, obviously I heard all of that that you're saying, but, you know, I'm not saved or I'm not sure if I'm saved. Listen, if that's you, I want you to repeat after me. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that the Lord Jesus was raised from the dead. You confess it and you believe it. Now, it doesn't stop there. You need the Holy Ghost. It was given on the day of Pentecost. I pray that if someone on here does not have the Holy Ghost, I pray now as the apostles prayed that they would receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I pray that. It's a gift. Just receive it. Are you hearing me? So, and then for those who are out there, you need covering. You need covering. Listen, if, if it has come into your spirit that you want to connect with us, you may never set foot in our ministry. You may be in a whole other state or wherever. But you want to connect, connect with us. We have our Covenant Life uh, 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 Partnership. Our Life Connect Partnership. Our Life Connect Partnership. You can connect with us. Just type in, I want to connect. And our uh, elder or new member members will make contact with you. But I thank you all for turn, tuning in tonight. I pray again that it blessed you. Come be with us this Sunday at 1015, 1985, Vineville Avenue. Uh, New Life International Ministries. I am the pastor overseer Eric Bell because we know at New Life, it's not just church. It's an experience. Thank you for tuning in.